what's going on here. A samurai sword act. Whoa. Is it? Live or let die. I've been training in the art of the samurai sword for over 20 years. Okay. This is the most dangerous thing that's ever been attempted on British television. Yeah. Really? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun, boys. Good luck. Hi guys, uh, welcome. You are. My name is Hayashi. These two are my assistants. This is Ben. Ben. And this is Dan. He'll be serving as my eyes during this demonstration. Right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. This samurai sword is an antique, a masterpiece of traditional craftsmanship. As you can see. It is extremely sharp and very dangerous. Please do not try anything like this at home. I don't think too many people have got samurai swords, have they? I have. Ben, take a deep breath. I need you to focus. By volunteering for this, you're literally putting your life in danger. Let's get him strapped up. Go ahead. I also need someone to verify that I will be doing this blind. Come on. What's your name? Emma. Give her a big hand. Come on. Thank you. Take a look through this blindfold. Can you see anything? No? Through the other side? Emma? Please tie it as tightly as you can. This is crazy. Nice and tight, Emma. He strapped the cucumber to his head. Thank you very much. Please take a safe distance. Dad, are we ready? Let's go. Really gonna do this. Ben, don't move. He's not gonna move. And a man without fear. Yeah. I wouldn't see the man without fear. He looked pretty scared to me. You look up relief in the dictionary, it's just a picture of his face right now. Whoa. Bloody hell. Are you all right, Ben? Are you okay? Oh, Ben. Wow, Amanda. I mean, that was, it started off, I have to be honest, I was bored. Yeah. And um, the minute you strapped Ben up, it was my kind of act. It was terrifying, it was dangerous, very exciting. Yeah, I agree. Please. Thank you very much, Amanda. <laughs> I really liked it. I think you're very dangerous and compelling to watch. And here's my issue. We've done cucumbers. How much smaller are you prepared to go in the next round? In other words, would you consider, like, beans? In beans? <laughs> what? No, no, I'm being serious, because that's where, for me, the act has to go. I would be willing to try something to risk my own life. OK. <laughs> OK. Uh, Piers, yes or no? Well, I don't think you're convinced at all by this, are you? You're prepared to have a bean on your head and have him try and chop it off? Yeah. I yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Right at the least convincing, yeah, <laughs> I've ever heard. Uh, in that case, I can't wait to see it. It's a yes. Amanda? 
It's a yes from me. OK, well, listen, you know what? I'm going to make it three yeses. Now, over the years, Britain's Got Talent has become a rite of passage for some of the world's strongest men. Each act has tried valiantly, but ultimately failed to make it through to the Royal Variety stage. But our first contestant thinks he's got something extra that will take him all the way. Meet 54-year-old painter and decorator, <laughs> Mickey Gooch. What's your name? My name's Mickey Gooch. Mickey Gooch. And uh, I do, I'm a martial artist. I thought that. I started doing uh, Kyokushin Kai Karate in 1974. The act I'm going to do is extremely dangerous and daring. I train like a nutter. Airport lounges at Heathrow Airport in the disabled toilets, police stations, hospitals. I could chuck a watermelon up and split it with your fingers. I've been on like a seek and destroy mission. I'm going to do it, whatever happens. Hello, sir. Hello, David. And what is your name, sir? My name's Mickey Gooch. And what will you be doing for us today? Well, what I'll be doing, David, I'll be doing something that nobody, nobody in the world can match me on. That sounds like a challenge if ever I've heard one. And it's one finger press up on top of a, a nail. Whoa, that's pretty cool, man. Give it your all, brother. All right. Oh, that does bend. <laughs> oh. This bothers me already. Yeah, I am two. Four, five, See, I can do that. Six, seven. Go! It is hard, like. Six. So that looks very so. We have our experts on finger push ups, Michael here. Well, I did feel it's an amazing thing to do more than one of them, but ultimately, we're looking for entertainment. And although I was very impressed, I, I wasn't entertained. You probably have the world's strongest finger, but I can't imagine if on the royal variety. Mickey, thank you very, very much yeah. for coming. But the answer is no for it's me. It's no for me. I'm afraid it's a no for me. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck, Mickey. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. You OK? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It's like his finger was bent all horrible and backwards. Got talent. It's Darcy Oak. I grew up in a city called Winnipeg, Canada. I'm getting a picture of Darcy. It's one of those cities where everybody's kind of born and raised there and not a lot of people leave. Breakthrough, both of you. But I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, has the white picket fence. You know, there's a whole world out there. I wanted to go explore and, and see if I could make it. Please welcome Darcy o. Stepping out onto the stage for the semifinals was unbelievable. You've got an incredible stage presence. Darcy O! The second I got off stage, I called my mom and she started crying and I started crying. I'm on cloud nine right now. Tonight's performance is literally the most dangerous thing that I've ever done. What I'm doing is a race against time. This is no illusion. There's no magic. It is 100% real. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win this show. And if that means risking my life, then that's exactly what I have to do. I'm putting it all on the line. And if it goes wrong, it's game over. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Darcy Oak. They say that time is of the essence. That's especially true tonight. This is not a trick. The concept is very simple. A regulation straitjacket. 
five buckles down the back, one across the arms. Hanging above the stage is a human bear trap. 16 serrated blades, all held open by a single rope. In a moment, I'll be suspended by my ankles and raised 20 feet into the air. The rope, which holds the trap open, will be set on fire. The rope burns through in approximately 53 seconds, leaving me 52 seconds to make my escape before the trap comes slamming shut. Tonight could end catastrophically. Let's begin. What would you think about if you had 60 seconds left to live? It's been said your entire life flashes before your eyes. The most important moments go by in an instant. The people you love, the people you lost, the people who made a difference. Tonight, I'll see it for myself. if you take the t-shirt off. That was fantastic. I mean, really, really difficult to watch because it was so dramatic. I've never seen anything like it. And, um, my word, you could win this on that. That was incredible. My goodness, Mr. Darcy, you just get better and better each time that we're seeing you. You have true star quality. And I thought from start to finish, that presentation was absolutely perfect. That was a fantastic performance. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed um, I completely, I, I said to, to Alicia, oh my God, he's not going to do it. He's not, I completely and utterly I had faith, I was mesmerised. <laughs> no, but in a really good way, you know, my heart was absolutely racing. I yeah. was, you know, I can't say it, but I really was my pants. <laughs> for you. Um, it was astonishing, absolutely astonishing. And the best thing is, is that you did take your T-shirt off at the end. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what, Darcy, uh, you've, you've done three very, very different uh, things since you've been on the show, and each one has got better and better. I like the fact that you are so cool. Mm. I love the way you present the act. I thought the production as you were in you know, a suspended midair was fantastic. It was really tense. And I think we are seeing the birth of a star here with you. I really do believe that. And, you know, I, and I know that, you know, that there's always some criticism that, you know, the show's called Britain's Got Talent and we ask people from around the world. Personally, I think it's an honour that you should choose Britain's Got Talent to perform on because it's made the competition so much better. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, judges. All it means you to, to win Britain's uh, Got Talent, Carson. Awesome. I'm willing to risk my life to be here, and I'm so grateful for all the support and to even be here on this platform sharing what I do with, with everyone. It's, a, it's an honor, so thank you. Well, we're thrilled you're here, Darcy. It's fantastic. If you think Darcy Oak has just conjured up a winning performance, then the number to call from the landline is 0902-044-2408. From your mobile, it's 644-2408, or you can vote via the app. But lines gone up until we've seen all of the acts tonight. One more time, let's hear it for him. Darcy Oak, everybody! Your name? 
name? Edward Pinder. Why are you on Britain's Got Talent? I'm a knife thrower. Right. And who is your assistant? My mum. Could you kill your mum doing this? Yes. <laughs> When you're ready. Good luck. He took a knife on his mum. Real knives. Real mother. Real medic. Have you ever missed? No. Have you got close? Yes. <laughs> I'm tempted to go up there. Are you? Oh! What? What's got in your head? You might be happy to do. <laughs> Can I just see if they're real? Yeah, they are. Oh my god. We'll just do two, Edward, okay? Right, can you make sure not to move? I'll be sure. <laughs> yeah? OK. Yes. Can I'm I have a go, me. Edward? No. <laughs> <laughs> can you stand back a bit more? Near enough Honestly, to... I know what I'm doing. <laughs> what could possibly go <laughs> wrong? <laughs> Edward, we've, you've never auditioned for me before, have you? No. OK. <laughs> go back a bit to the board of it. want to go, let's be honest. I kind of felt my life going in front of me there. You nearly killed Simon Cowell. How <laughs> much would we have to pay you to throw the knife just a little bit nearer him? <laughs> I can see in the next round that David actually could take the place of me. Would you be willing to do that? Yeah. In which case, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> David? If I can be behind Simon, I'm going to say yes as well. <laughs> It's a yes for me too, Edward. You've got four yeses, Edward. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Good work. Oh, that was scary. I mean, it could be between the legs. OK, well, OK, next time there's a knife throw at, you're going up there. <laughs> Thank you. And your name is? My name's Ben Black. How old are you? 36. Yeah. 36. <laughs> 36. What's your mobile number? <laughs> My name's Ben Black from Springfield, Missouri, and I'm a performer. I grew up on a farm originally, so uh, I love outdoors. I still appreciate where I'm from, but I've always wanted to explore and see new things. I've been blessed to perform all over the world, so I've come to Britain's Got Talent because I believe that this is the biggest talent show in the world. Performing at the Royal Variety Performance is like performing for the White House in America, so that's my personal goal for this competition. My act involves crossbows. It's very dangerous. Is there a chance someone could get really hurt in this? There's always a chance, of course. The thing about my act is everything is 100% real. 
with that, there is a danger because if someone was to get hit with an arrow, they'd be having a very bad day. Okay, well, listen, Ben, best of luck, whatever you're going to do. Thank you. some help. Simon, you mind? Are you sure about this? Yes. Yeah. About this way. What I have here is a series of six crossbows. Each of these crossbows are aimed at the other one. They're going to trigger each other. And then the last one is aimed at an apple placed right above my head. Now I'm going to be blindfolded, but I'm going to shoot with my sense of hearing. So what I need for you, when I say Simon Go, stand here like this and ring the bell, please. Back, back up, everybody. Back, back up. Back up. Simon, go. Why is he ringing the bell? That's, that's where he's got it. Oh, I see. Simon's right in the way of that. opportunity to kill Simon Cowell and you blew it. <laughs> it's an incredible act. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it was absolutely stunning. Ben, you are hot, you take a shot, and you definitely hit the spot. Love you! It's kind of like watching a really sexy Robin Hood and Maid Marian. It felt really dangerous. It's incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Um, I don't want to take too much credit for that because I just played a <laughs> tiny small role in it. But I thought the app was great. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I mean, it was amazing. And that's not magic, that's real, right? Yeah, absolutely. Incredible. OK, we're going to do the voting part now. David. A very easy yes. Alicia. That was impressive. It's definitely a yes from me. Thank you. Amanda. Absolutely, yes from me. Ben. We've got four yeses. Well, well, thank you. Nice. Oh, Thanks, good work. Love that. It was incredible. Another, another, another. Just because I'm writing notes doesn't mean you have to now. I am, but I was always, I used to do that anyway. I'm doing my tips, like they're through. No, you do. Did you just use the tip? Off you go. Hello. So, who are you? My name's Stevie. And what have you come to do? I'm known as Regurgitator. Oh! <laughs> it sounds disgusting, but let me show you. OK. Well, when you're ready. What Stevie is about to do is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted at home. If you do, it may cause serious injury or even death. So what I've got here, I've got five half-dollar coins marked one, two, three, four and five. Now, I'm going to swallow these. If you listen carefully, you will actually hear them click as they drop inside. Everything that goes in comes back dry. Number one. Now, you obviously did not hear the first one. There is nothing to hit. Number two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Number five. Good. So I have swallowed five coins. Which number would you like me to return? <laughs> Number three coming up for you. <laughs> <laughs> if I bone dry, if I show you, there is a number three. Now you can have two coins together. What would you like? One and four. Oh. <laughs> if I show you those, we have number one and four. This is the one talent I wish I could do. What number would you like? Two or five? Five. <laughs> <laughs> One more coming up. <coughs> oh, the bank is closed. The last one has gone too far. No worries. We have a billiard ball. Now, this is a genuine ball. The ball goes in, which will automatically push the money up, and then the ball will return. Ball down, money up. That's massive, that thing. The ball. Oh, oh he sucked it down, he sucked it down. what I was going to think when you were there. I, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like it. Right. But I did find it fascinating. I couldn't take my eyes Thank off you. you. Piers. It was you know, pretty compelling to watch, pretty weird, and it made me gag a few times. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so this is not a trick. No. I mean, it's not magic. I mean, you really are swallowing all that. Yes, it's something I learned as a child. I used to, as a kid, swallow my pocket money, because I lived in a children's home. And I used to hide my pocket money as a child and Seriously? bring it up again. Seriously. Piers, yes or no? I think for sure, oddity value, definitely, yes. Thank you, Piers. Amanda? Britain's Got Talent is all about finding variety acts, and you epitomise a variety act. Thank Brilliant. you very much. So, Thank yes you, from me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh... 
Three S's. That's an incredible act, right? I can't wait to see more. I'm so thrilled you threw to the next round. Cheers, well done, Steve. Amazing. Loved Thank it. You. Well done. Brilliant. Very much, Thank, Thank you. you. See you next time. Hello. Hello. What, what are your names? My name is Billy, and this is my sister, Emily. Oh, fantastic. So how long have you known each other? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Billy and Emily. Um, how old are you guys? I'm 28, and she's 25. My name's Billy. I'm Emily. We're from Birmingham. We're brother and sister, and we are roller skaters. We started roller skating when we were kids. I was five, and my brother was eight. Our mother, she saw on TV uh, some roller skaters, and she thought, oh, that's elegant and safe and something nice that we can do together. So she bought us roller skates, and from that moment on, we were hooked. I love skating with my sister. I will not skate with anyone else. He's my big brother, and I've always looked up to him. I'm performing with my best friend. Today we want to make our parents proud and we're going to give it our all. We're going to try and put on a great show and hopefully the judges and the audience will love it. Take it away, the stage is yours. Thank you. Like, I was so worried for your head. You're fearless mm. and like fresh spin on roller skating. I, I thought it was fantastic. It felt dangerous and fresh. So I'm, I congratulate you for bringing something so exciting to roller skating and to Britain's Got Talent. I, you know, I've seen a lot of roller skating acts on this show. Normally they are horrific because you kind of think, what can you do on a stage of roller skates? I've, I've actually never seen an act like that in my life. I mean, it's incredible. Really incredible. I'm going to kick this off with a big, fat yes. Thank you. A very, very easy yes. Well done. Massive yes for me. <laughs> it's a big, fat yes. Yeah. 
Stand on ovation from the crowd and all four thank judges. It's more than I could ever wish for. It brilliant, is. Brilliant. Thank you. Like, it's, it's a dream country. Oh, it was brilliant. Good variety act. My name's Merlin. Yes. And this is, this is Teff. Um, what's the act, please? Basically, uh, I escape from 10 metres of chain and then I juggle fire underwater. Oh, my it, God. It isn't a trick, it's a stunt. It's really dangerous. So you are an escapologist? Uh, well, an escapologist, um, a breath holder, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the dream here, Merlin? Who would you like to be the next? You know, you... I want to be the modern-day Harry Houdini. He's one of my heroes. Do you? I've studied him a lot and uh, some of his escapes and things. OK, good luck. Thank you, sir. This could go disastrously wrong, and he could really hurt himself. Let's go. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to fill Merlin's helmet with water. Ted, can you ask if he's all right? Okay. Okay. Right. Now, Murray's going to attempt to get out of 10 metres of padlocked chain and then juggle fire underwater. Okay, this is real. It's really dangerous. Okay. I, I like people who are just bordering on being complete loonies. I thought that was very impressive. It's like you're always telling people to juggle fire whilst underwater with piranha fish and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it just looked so stupid when you had that thing on your head and you were juggling. <laughs> you know, I just couldn't imagine that on the Royal Variety. I've got a lot of other tricks up my sleeve, really crazy stunts. How extreme could this go, Merlin? I could die. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting. Uh, Piers, yes or no? I'm going to say yes, Merlin. Thank you, sir. And, you know, I think that you've got the whole package, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, look, Merlin, you know what? I think you are a complete and utter nutcase, but I like you, so I'm going to say yes. Thank you very much. Congratulations, well done. Uh, thank you very much. Well done. Yeah. It went well. Thank you very much. It thank went, you. It went as, as well as it could. Yeah, I didn't die. with a samurai sword. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. You're not going to turn them down either, are you? Yeah, good point.
Me? Not the other one. <gasps> He's put a pineapple on his head. Okay, it's four nose rainbow, but nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh dear. It's all yours, Alexander. He's got a sword. Hello. Now your name is Alex Magala. Now why have you entered Britain's Got Talent? I did many got talent shows around the world. Which ones? America, France, Russia. I won Russia. <laughs> of course. And Mexico. Why us after all of the others? The first show I seen was Britain's Got Talent. It was so inspiring, they made me who I am. My name is Alex Magala. I'm 26 years old. I am from Moldova, Eastern Europe. Tonight, I'm going to show something that the judges and the audience had never seen before. I started to practice when I was a teenager. Cold, rainy evening, my parents go to sleep, try to be like super quiet so they won't notice what I'm doing because they, they didn't support what I'm doing. It was my own little secret. It was actually a bad decision because sometimes there's blood, sometimes there's your breakfast on the floor. I came here to do Britain's Got Talent because the winner gets to perform for the royalty, but uh, I'm not really sure that the queen can handle what I do. <laughs> My act, it is very dangerous. Everything has to be perfect. The small mistake will cost me my life. Okay, Alex, I don't think I want to ask you what it is, but is it dangerous? Oh, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how dangerous? Well, I'm pretty much risking my life in front of you guys. All right, Alex, well, best of luck. Thank you very much.
goal at the pole. What are you doing, man? That's too much fun. Alex, that is respect. Alicia. I'm speechless. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. It was one of those things, you know, you just can't bear to watch and you have to keep one eye open. I think the royal family would be so amazed to see it. It was incredible. It was incredible, but I was really, really happy when it was over. <laughs> Not that it wasn't brilliant, but I was just relieved that you were still alive at the end of it. It Me was too. absolutely too. thrilling. I actually thought you were going to die. I did. This is going to be one of those auditions I will never, ever forget. And I've seen a lot. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask what you're going to do next, but I presume it's something more dangerous. It was just a warm-up. This is just a warm-up. Shall we vote? David? A very easy yes. Yes. Yes for me. Alex, you got four huge yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't be any cooler, could you? Wow. Just wow. Oh, my God. I just seen all my life in one second. Good night. God bless. See you, Paul. Let's come on, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It was amazing. It was an amazing end. All right, good night. Good night. Good night. I'll just see you into the car. No, yeah, no, are you over the rules? No, I'm allowed to be traction, you know that. Look, look, look. Just drive. Drive. OK, I want drive. you to call the police. Drive. 